Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would go ahead and get started on my little hummingbird that I got from One Day Saving. And we're gonna see how these special drills work. I didn't hit up, oops. <laughs> I probably should have done that. Um, as you can see, they come in these little packets that you just need to tear open and then you should probably put them in other containers or Ziploc baggies to work with. But I just thought I would give it a little try. I think we're going to start out with some of the large jewels, the, the large special drills. But what I'm going to do first, since it has a little bit of a crease in it, I am going to try... Hold on guys. All right, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> it never fails. I start doing a video and my dog starts barking. So I had to close the front door. I had the front door open trying to get some fresh air in here. But uh, what I was saying <laughs> is we're going to go ahead and uh, roll this in the opposite direction because I've seen people do that before and it helps to get the wrinkles out. So hopefully that will help with this one, help it to lay flatter. I think I'll roll it in this direction as well. It may not, with this uh, stiffer canvas, it is a stiffer canvas, so it may not respond as well to being rolled like this, but we're going to try it. Ooh, hey, that, that helped. So what I'm going to do next, yeah, if you have some wrinkles going this way, try rolling it this way, like I just did. And it did help. To flatten it out so we're gonna we're gonna go with that yes that looks much better okay so I think I'm gonna start like I said I want to do some of these large spaces right here here let's turn it this way um, I'm going to let me set my tripod a little bit closer and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on these spots here. Now these are going to be number 14. So I'm going to look for number 14. And as you can see, this is 14 right here. So it's going to be these little roses. And I'm really interested. I'm interested to see. We're gonna use all the products that came with the one day saving kit. We're only gonna use what they sent, um, so that you guys can see that that's all you need to work on your diamond painting. And there we go. I'm interested to see how the bigger jewels pick up with a regular diamond painting pen. Do you guys use something else to pick up the big drills or do you just use this? Um, we're going to see how it works. We're going to get some of this wax on our pen. And I just kind of set it down like this and poke into it. So that gets the wax on the tip of your pen. <clears throat> and then I'm going to open up the corner here. I'm going to take these drills and we only need a few of these. Sorry if you hear something outside hammering. They're doing some work out in our 
out in the courtyard today. So will these pick up? Let's find out. Yeah, I think they will. Okay, so 14 is going to go... I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me move it up a little bit. Right here, it has the red or the pink circle, the big pink circle, and it has number 14. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to go for that right there. Oh gosh, and the sun is coming in my window, so I hope it doesn't affect what we see. And like I said, this part is not sticky, so I can actually lay something down right here. We are going to try it out with the big drills. It's kind of exciting. Okay. Wow. I might need to move it a little bit because I got it a little... I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me, let me turn it this way a little bit more. Right here. I got it a little too close. Mm. To where the other drills are going to go. You see there's some spots around the flower where I'm going to need to put other drills. Like I said, this is the first time I've done a special drill. So it's kind of a learning curve. You gotta position it just right. Yeah. Because you're gonna be putting more drills around it. Okay, let's see if we can pick up another one or if we need to refill our wax oh it picked up pretty easily so this time i'm going to try to be a little more careful with where i put it because i can see the other spots where the other drills are gonna go and these do pick up quite easily so that's good and We've got two more of these. Whoop. Ah. There we go. So with the special drill, I guess you don't you don't work so much in rows. You kind of fill in spaces the way that they have the chart laid out, it kind of you just follow, you just follow it. Oh, that's all we need for those. So yeah, in other diamond paintings, like in full, full diamond paintings where you cover the whole canvas, they're usually rows, but it looks like on partials and special drills, you kind of just go in more of an abstract um, shape with your drills, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so that's all we needed. So we've got extra. We'll have extra drills of these little flowers. Let me go ahead and let's find another shape to try. Which one should we do next? I think I'm going to go with number 11. Those are the dark circles. So I'm cutting number 11 right now. And we're going to use a few of these. It looks like there's some over here and there's some here. I just want to do these three little spots right here just to see how they work. Let me know down in the comments if any of you have done special drills before. And if you have, how do you feel about special drills? This is actually my very first special drill and my very first partial. I've never done a partial before either. Oops, we're gonna have to flip these guys over. 
There we go. So now let's try these. Ooh, these are really pretty jewels. And they pick up quite easily. Quite easily. Wow! So exciting. Can you guys see that okay? Yeah, let me let me see if I can get you a better view. A little better. Let's zoom in a little more. All right, we are gonna, we are going to try at least one more shape before I end the video. Let's see, which shape should we do next? Oh, I guess I could have put one there too. That's okay, I'll do that later. I'm gonna do the flower, and it looks like the flower is number nine. Okay, so I've got number nine right here. We're going to go ahead and cut this bag off. And we're going to get some of these jewels out. these look at the shine look how sparkly these are so this is going to be exciting to do I really wish the lighting was better but I'm kind of backlit right now um, so we are going to, whoops we're going to work on this flower right here. So these go like this. Ooh, that's very fun. These are actually really fun to work on. Look at that. So I hope everybody watching is staying cool. I know the weather has been really, really hot in most of the country. Um, if you're in the United States, I'm in California. And amazingly, here in Santa Cruz, the weather has been gorgeous. Um, today, we got up to like possibly 79, I think, Fahrenheit. But... It gets down to the 50s at night, so it cools off nicely, but I know most of the country is having over 100 degree weather, and that must not be fun at all. Yeah, so I'm sending some cooler weather your way. I don't miss the heat. When I lived in Oklahoma, we had some really hot weather. And, oops, I just dropped that one upside down. But in Oklahoma, my family is having a hundred and, I don't know, maybe it's 108 degrees this week there. So yeah, I am not envious of them at all right now. Oops, all right guys. So there we have it. Oh, that's such a, this is so pretty. Let me show you. I'm gonna pull it up so you guys can see it a little closer. So look at these, look at these jewels. Those are gorgeous. They're very pretty. And this, this little spot here where the rose is, is the part I was telling you about where there's some other symbols around it, so you have to be very careful. I might even need to move that rose over just a little bit more. 
so that I can get the other uh, drills in there. Oh, but look at that shine. Look at that. When the, when the sun hits it, look at that. How pretty is that? But yeah, so I can't wait to complete this. Oh, there we go. I was getting out of focus. But thank you guys for watching. And um, once again, this is a diamond painting by One Day Saving. And I will put a link to this diamond painting down below in the description. And thanks for watching, guys. I apologize once again for this lighting because it's a little late in the afternoon and the sun is coming in in a weird way. So the next video should be better. <laughs> but I will see you guys again in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.